Hi guys, it's Pris Chu back here and welcome back to another episode of PrisChu.com. Have you ever wondered what snow in the tropics is like? If you have, you can experience a small version of it at the Christmas Wonderland which is Singapore's biggest Yuletide event now into its 10th edition happening from now until the 1st of January 2024 at the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. The nearest MRT to Gardens by the Bay is Bayfront MRT which is on both the downtown line and the circle lines. So it is an interchange station and quite easy to get to because it is in town. From Bayfront MRT, it is roughly a 5 minute walk to entrance gate C which we went in by. So this is Singapore's biggest Yotai event and comprises of games, festive performances as well as a carnival comprising of lots of food and drinks such as pizzas, meatball buckets, beer, french fries, chicken wings. Entrance Gate C is the entrance that leads directly to the carnival. At the carnival, you can see a lot of amusement rides as well as a few games. There are also food and beverage stores whereby you can purchase food and drink. Burger and Lobster, Brew Works and Go Pizza are some of the food stores that are available in addition to beer at Gate C. Want to take a little Christmas ride? You can also get onto the little choo choo train. If you are still hungry once you walk down to the Super Trees Grove area, the good news for you is that there are more food stalls here selling more food and drinks. This is where you can find the meatballs in a bucket shop as well as many others. So take your pick if you are feeling peckish. Photo opportunities include the chance to meet Santa as well as a lot of Christmas themed decor such as reindeer displays, log cabins and so on. Display and decor at the Christmas Wonderland at Gardens by the Bay is pretty amazing. The pirate ship is beautiful when it is lit up on lights. There is a short queue to take a photograph on the ship so it is not too much to wait. Another amazing attraction is the Walk of Lights. When you go in, you are greeted by a neon and psychedelic row of lights. It is pretty beautiful and slightly reminds you of the like psychedelic light themes at some attractions that I have been in the past. It is quite amazing and a great opportunity for photographs and videos.
weather permitting, they really do fire out the snow at selected timings. I think this was the 8.45 p.m. time slot for the snow. It really does look like snow on the video, but it is basically soap suds. It sets a pretty festive mood for the Christmas season. And if you want to get into the Christmas spirit ahead of 25th of December, you can feel free to head to the Gardens by the Bay website and check it out. Merchandise available such as from the Museum of Ice Cream where they have some Singapore themed memorabilia as well as ice cream themed memorabilia. I found the stuffed toys extremely cute. The ice cream tasted good in the hot, tropical, humid weather. The bottom flavour was chocolate and the top flavour was speckleous. As I mentioned, there are lots of opportunities to take photographs and to mark some memories of the Gardens by the Bay Winter Wonderland. Apart from the Santa's Grotto queue where there was a real Santa, the rest of the exhibits did not really have much of a queuing time. For Santa's Grotto, you have to be strategic because if you go there at the wrong moment, you can wait for up to 45 minutes to get your picture taken. There is quite a fair bit of last-minute Christmas gift shopping you can do if you are looking for a gift at this late stage. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pris Chu from PrisChu.com. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at PrisChu.com. PrisChu.com. Until then, I will catch up with you in my next video. See you and bye-bye.